What's up guys and welcome back to Kern's Cooking. Today we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day with an awesome steak and shrimp surf and turf. So let's get to it. Alright guys, let's start out by taking a look at our ingredients here. As always, you can check the description down below for the link to the website for a complete list. But we're going to start out with our steaks here. We went with USDA Prime uh, New York Strips. They're the best thing that I can find and you want to do that. You want to find the best steaks that you can find. This is Valentine's Day after all. You're trying to impress her. So what you do is you just put your steaks on a rack and on a tray and set them aside so they can come up to room temperature before throwing them in your pan to cook. Once you set your steaks aside, we're going to start preparing our vegetables by giving the onion, or in this case I use shallots, a nice chop and dice. Get them in a bowl. Then we're going to start working on our garlic. I started out here by slicing the garlic and then giving it a nice rough chop. You kind of want your garlic to be pretty fine in the end. You don't want big chunks of garlic in this. You're just using the garlic as a flavoring, um, so you don't really want big unappetizing chunks in the end. But we're using four cloves of garlic here. So we're just gonna get all that in a bowl and set the bowl aside. Then we're gonna start working on our shrimp. And all we're doing here, since these shrimp were already deveined for us, all we have to do is peel the, the skins off. We're gonna leave the tails and then just put them in a bowl. Once you get them all peeled and deveined and everything, you're gonna just put some saran wrap on top of the shrimp so it doesn't get any of that nasty uh, refrigerator smell on it and put those in the refrigerator until we're ready to use them. We're going to start off by searing these steaks in a nice heavy bottom pan. I'm using a uh, cast steel pan here. Any heavy bottom will work. While we're getting our butter, we've got two tablespoons of butter. While we're getting that melted down into a nice, uh, just about like a golden, slightly brown color, we're going to season our steaks on this one side with a good coating of salt and pepper. And once we get those seasoned and the butter melted down, we're gonna put them into our pan. And this is what you wanna hear when you get them into the pan, that nice sizzle. That means you're gonna be getting a good crust on your steaks. So once we get those in the pan, we're gonna remove this tray out of our way. And then we're gonna season the other side. Same thing, generous coating of salt and pepper and just get that down and just hang out you're gonna sear this side here for about four to five minutes until you get that nice crust on the outside and you'll see what that looks like here in just a second so after about four or five minutes we're gonna give these a flip and that's what you're looking for that color right there so we're gonna get these going get this other side seared give it a little check that's about what we're looking for and now instead of throwing the pan in an oven like you can do to get the steaks cooked complete we're going to baste with the butter now I know what you're thinking that's a lot of butter and butter's probably not good for you that's what we've all been told but this is a big piece of meat and that butter is not really going to be penetrating this meat anymore because we've got that nice crust on the outside. So we're going to end up in the pan when we're all said and done with about the same amount of butter as we started with after the sear. So after basting for a couple minutes, I gave him a flip and gave the fat cap a little sear to get some color on that and to render out some of that fat before we serve these up. Then uh, give them a flip, flip them on the other side and start basting that side. Now this is going to take you probably 15-20 minutes or so. So you know, 
you just work in the butter over top of the steaks. Just kind of get into like a happy place. So then I decided to uh, just get a little bit of color on the other side and then we check temperature here once you hit 130 they're done you're looking for about 130 to 135 for a nice medium rare so we're gonna pull them off at 130 and let them rest and they're gonna come up to 135 because they're not done cooking so set those aside let them rest get some oil in your pan add your onions and garlic and start to saute them down and you want those to tr turn translucent nice golden brown color you know you don't want to burn them or anything like that you just want them nice and translucent so we're going to give those a quick stir here just to get them incorporated into our oil and butter mixture Give them a quick little seasoning of some salt and pepper. You know, don't go overboard here. You don't want this stuff to get too salted. And once your onions are done, just then throw the shrimp in and start getting those cooked down. And once you get to about this stage here, we're gonna start adding our, in, our seasonings. So start with some paprika and get that stirred in and incorporated and this is going to give this sauce and shrimp a nice orangey color so just get those get that paprika incorporated stir the shrimp and you want them all to be nice and pink that means they're done so then we're going to add our bourbon and our orange juice we're going to start to get that simmering stir it in and we're going to reduce this down to a to about a third of what we started with to get a nice sauce going so once you get that to a simmer like this you just gonna let it hang out for a little bit until we add in our dijon mustard this just adds a nice little tang to our sauce let's so get that stirred in and incorporated and just keep reducing down until we get to the next step which is to add our honey so this just adds a little bit of sweetness to our flavor we've got a lot of tang going on here with the orange juice and the bourbon and that Dijon mustard so this is going to balance that out add your honey stir it in and at this point we're almost done to the consistency we want so now I've killed the heat and I'm added another tablespoon of butter and this is going to emulsify our sauce and thicken it up for us now I know what you're thinking we've had a lot of butter in this and we probably have had a little bit too much but this is Valentine's Day you're indulging you're trying to make it you're trying to impress your your significant other and make a delicious meal we're not eating like this every day so just don't worry about it so now, once our sauce is emulsified, we're done. It's time to get ourselves, uh, get our steaks sliced up here. We do a nice about quarter to half inch slices. And just get a whole steak sliced up. You can see the pink in there. That's the exact color you want. This thing is just slicing up so easy. That's what you get when you buy a nice piece of meat with a prime. It's just gonna f almost fall apart. And that's what you want. All that marbling and fat you saw at the beginning has rendered out into this steak, adding a bunch of flavor. So now we're just gonna plate this up. You can try and make it look pretty. You're trying to impress everybody. You eat with your eyes first, so we get it nice and stacked here. You don't have to go too overboard with this. Just get it nice and pretty. Then we're gonna bring our shrimp in. We're gonna top this steak with these beautiful shrimp. I mean, look at the color on those things. I mean, these things are just gonna be delicious. So give, 
give your uh, give your significant other a decent size serving here. You know, this is probably you could probably just get away with one steak, but we made two. And uh, you know, you could do more or less shrimp if you want, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you want to see more recipes like this, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and it helps us out. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up and check us out on social media. All right. Take care, guys. Happy Valentine's Day.